Hello, I am Art Invader from Berlin, Germany. I am a digital artist and NFT creator on OpenSea. You might already know me from my Instagram or TikTok. There I regularly post short tutorials and animations of my art. If you are interested, feel free to check it out and leave some likes or a follow. That would help me a lot so that I can continue to create cool tutorials for you. I link you to my profiles in the caption. Today I will show you how to create this cool basketball animation with flowers. The video is divided into three parts. Once in creating the 3D objects, in the materials and in the animation. Let's get started Art Invaders. The 3D, the 3D objects. 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 We first model the basketball for this we first go to the top of the bar and create a ball. For segments we select 16. Then we select the ball and press with the right mouse button on it and select current state object. After that we go to the following bar under display and select a line display. Press the icon in the top corner to open the four view window. Also choose the point selection on the left side. Now use the rectangle selection tool and delete all parts of the sphere until only one quarter is left. Then switch back to the normal 3D view and select symmetry twice in the upper bar. Place the sphere underneath. Under the first symmetry go to object and select for mirror plane XZ. Then place the symmetry under the second one. There you select under object mirror plane XY. Then you select the sphere and press on the left side on line selection. There you select all lines inside and press with the right mouse button on it and select dissolve. Go back to the four windows view and select the view from above. Now press the right mouse button freely in the window and select line cut and make cuts to connect the sides. With the escape key you can end the cut. Then switch back to the 3D view. Now select all planes and press with the right mouse button and go to connect object plus delete. Now take the points selection on the left side and select all points of the ball. Now right click on it and go to optimize and click on the cogwheel there. For tolerance you take 0.3. Then select a subdivision surface and place the object under it. Click on the subdivision surface and select one for both values. Select both layers again right click on them and go to connect object plus delete. Now go to the deformers and select Spherify. Place the deformer under the sphere. Select the deformer and go to object and press fit to parent. Also increase the strength value to 100%. Select all layers again right click on them and go to connect object plus delete. Now select the loop selection tool and select the typical basketball pattern. Select the line selection tool on the left side of the screen. After that select another subdivision surface and place the ball under it. Select again the sphere to see the selection. Press with the right mouse button and select bevel. By dragging the mouse you can now transform the pattern into a surface representation. Now go to the area selection on the left side and select the pattern again with the loop selection tool. When you are done, select the extrude tool and drag the faces inwards. On the right side you have even more control over the tool. Select for offset minus 3. Now go to select at the top and then set selection. Now go to the flat window and click on the triangle. This is our selection. Hold down the control key and duplicate the triangle. Now go to selection and select invert. Then press set selection again. The two selections are later important for the textures and where the plants should grow. Go to the top right corner and select standard to get more options. Go to mesh, then clone and then split. Now you have the stripes as a standalone object. Put a subdivision surface here too. That's it the basketball is done. Now we only need the plants. For this we need Quixel Bridge. This is a program for free. You can find the link in the caption. There you have a selection of many 3D elements that are needed to build a 3D scene.
you have different choices between stones, plants and whole biotopes. The installation is very easy, you can find many videos on YouTube, so I won't go into detail. Choose the plants you want to use. I take field poppy as plants press the download button. I have already downloaded the plants. When the download is done, you can export it with a plugin directly into your Cinema 4D file. The export plugin is automatically offered to you in the program when you want to export it. When the plants are exported in Cinema 4D you select a cloner in the top bar and place all plants under it. Then click on the cloner and select object in mode. Then select matrix from the top of the bar. Now click on the matrix. There you also select object at mode. Place the matrix in the cloner under object. Now click on the matrix. There you add the lines of the basketball under object. For up vector select Y plus and for count 1500. Then click on the matrix and search for random. Now remove the check mark under position. For this you set a check mark at scale and rotation. For scale I choose 0.5 in all axes. For rotation I choose random values. Make sure that they do not exceed 20, otherwise it can quickly look unnatural. Finally, make the basketball lines invisible. They only serve as placeholders, so that the program knows where the plants should grow. Do you need help? I have now Discord. You want to be part of the Art Invader community in the future and not miss any news? Or do you want to actively exchange with the community and create videos? Now you have the possibility to join my Discord channel. There you can find 6 different channels and I will add some more. You can find the link in the caption. The Materials From here on you can customize your artwork by using other environment textures, materials etc. You can also leave it the way I do it. Feel free to send final results on Instagram. I will repost your artwork as a thank you. To create a new material you have to double click with the mouse in the material window. Drag and drop the material onto the basketball lines. You do this by clicking on the triangle selection and selecting the lines. Opens the material. We only need the color and reflectance channel. At color you choose the color black. Now we go to the reflectance channel. There you press the button remove and then add and insert a new GGX layer. At global reflection brightness you choose 5%. At roughness set the value to 30 and at specular strength to 2. The material is ready. Now we duplicate the material and drag and drop it onto the rest of the basketball. At color we choose an orange tone. Here is the color code. Now we put a check mark at bump to get the typical basketball texture. This is a black and white texture. Just google for basketball bump map and you will find something suitable. Put the image under texture and set strength to minus 100. It can be that the textures are not assigned correctly because of the subdivision surface. Just take it out and make the flowers invisible until it fits. Now we adjust the texture to the ball. For this go to the layer window and select the material. Then go to the category tag and set projection to spherical. Under length U and length V enter 15%. Now select sky from the top bar. So that we can see something, we have to create a new material here as well. Drag and drop the material onto the sky. Here we only need the luminance channel. Under texture you can insert an image of your choice. I select HDRI Sky. At Patreon you can find the complete project file with all textures I used for the project. There you can also support me financially as an artist. All the money helps me spend more time on creating tutorials and cool things for you. Thank you very much. Now we come to the animation. The animation, 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 animation. But it is best to save the animation here. Increase the duration to 7 seconds. 
First we select both subvision surfaces and move the animation slider to 4 seconds and set a keyframe. There where the key icon is. Then we move the slider to the beginning of the animation. Now we select the rotation tool and rotate until we have a suitable section. Now we set another keyframe. Now we animate the plants. Select the matrix and go to the menu transform. Set the animation slider to 2 seconds. Set all 3 scale values to 0 and press on the 3 points to set keyframes. Then move the slider to 5 seconds and set all 3 scale values to 1 and again set 3 keyframes for the respective values. Now we make a fake wind animation to make the plants move. Go to random and to the menu item parameter. Move the slider to 5 seconds and set a keyframe for all rotations. After that move the slider to 6 seconds and set all rotation values to 0 and set more keyframes. Finally move the slider to the end of the animation and set random values below 20 for the rotation and set more keyframes. To keep the animation running at the same speed you have to select Timline F curve in the window bar at the top. Select the curve and press the linear button. Finally we come to the render settings. To do this, press the gear icon at the top. Under Render, select Standard. Then select a format of your choice. I choose 1080 by 1080 pixels, the standard Instagram post format. After that, select all frames for frame range, since we are creating an animation. If you want to have a transparent background, go to save and check the following three boxes. Now we want to create shadows. For this we go to the button effect and select ambient occlusion. There we set a check mark at, use sky environment. That's it the animation is ready to render. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Do you have any theme suggestions or want to know how other artists created their animation? Feel free to send me a message with a theme or example pictures on Instagram or TikTok. I will make a tutorial about it. Do you have any questions or do you want to tell me something? Write it in the comments. I am glad about every support. Thank you. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1-2 to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.